Howdy, this is Tom Eckert, CST, coming at you live from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, of all places. And today I wanted to go over some of the introductory tools that are included with the site scan solution from 3DR and Autodesk. The, uh, just to, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the folks in the support department. Um, normally when you've got this uh, link here where you can send out a support email, uh, it is actually looked at and responded to by the support folks immediately. Um, and, and whether it's a phone call or whether it's a topic of an existing feature or a brand new beta feature, they are so responsive, adding success to the partnership of the Autodesk and 3DR collaboration. So we're, we're excited to be part of it. It's amazing every week new features come out. And so uh, today we're just going to go over just a, a few of them. Um, we are at uh, sitescan.3dr.com. We've logged into our account. And um, one of the, the, the biggest features is if, if somebody doesn't have Sitescan, clicking on this share button here and copying a, a version of the model. Uh, you notice I say version because when I control V into a separate browser and uh, they're going to get a live feed off the cloud of the ortho mosaic and, uh, and the ability to, to use that um, in the analysis of inspection, they can print from it and, and, uh, and use the data layers that are included. But when I go back to 3DR here, and if I make any changes, say I want to do a quick measurement of uh, an area, let's do a volume, let's do something really exciting of a particular volume of a pile here. And um, when we do this volume calculation, Do a couple double clicks when we look at it it's going to come up and calculate the volume um you, you might notice that it does give us the ability to look at the the uh, cuts and fills and then when we click on the view volume in 3d it's going to actually read the elevation data from that and produce a three-dimensional model on the base plane that you can go and look at here and so here is a model of the base plane we might want to get rid of the individual base plane in the mesh and just leave the information that's there. You can see that there is a little bit, there's a conveyor right here on the 3D model. You've got your cuts and fills, but you can choose the separate base planes. And what's nice about this is when you go back to the job and you actually then share this particular link, it's a brand new link. We're going to paste this guy into the browser that you're putting out the ability with the new measurements out to the um, out to the user so that they're also looking at it, as, at it as well and they can get the volumes and get the cuts and fills on the new URL website. So it's a dynamic link. So it's not just sharing a static image which most most software packages try to uh, to use that so you can collaborate and, uh, and share, but with all the features of the measurement, you can uh, use the photos, you can use the, now we're back in the, uh, the original site scan. If we turn on the photos and you wanted to find out which photo created that particular image, when you look at it, there's that, you've got your conveyor, and now you're gonna actually be communicating some engineering uh, design elements or just some value engineering for the materials manager, uh, allowing them to uh, download the individual images and you can bring that to your workstation or if you wanted to you could go out and run a slideshow with it and this is an online series of photos for a, uh, a quick slideshow that you can then manipulate and you've got the ability to zoom in and out of the images there is some uh, panning availability and so you're looking at the individual image in the browser as well as being able to download this image when you look at it. And this is now locally on the, uh, the desktop itself. So uh, each one of these features is, is, is super important for, again, communicating engineering design ideas or just being able to toggle through the flight plan so that you can show the individual images to your shareholders themselves. So uh, with, with, with the images, they can be then when you hit share, the other tab past the share map is to download a zip file of the individual photographs 
to process them in an alternative cloud processing software. It does create a zip file, brings them all down, and, and allows you some, some amazing uh, ability. Now with SiteScan, you can refly jobs and do some, some comparisons, some, uh, uh, some merging of jobs, and uploading additional photos. So if you go back and realize you missed some, you can actually bring in some additional photos from an additional flight. But this upload button here with the overlay is really a, uh, a, 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 a feature that has magnificent benefits and advantages because these can be individually to be G files and line work. They can be PDF underlays, back map, background maps. They can be shape files. And so when you grab these overlays, you can even use this on the front end to develop your site, uh, your flight plan or you could use them as background images for presentation uh, because once you get the, uh, the aspects of the job, including the contours, when you run the contours in there, once you actually get the, the individual contours that you see right here. Now this is out of the box, obviously it's contouring the uh, individual piles. There's the, uh, there's the conveyor right there, as well as the road to the conveyor. So there are some aspects that we would need to be cleaning up. But with these contours, the export of the model data is really where SiteScan shines. And so we're going to go over individually the orthograph, or ortho mosaics, the DEM, the recap files, what the difference is between 3D mesh, and also a PDF file that you can just kick out. Um, and, uh, and, and look at uh, the, the uh, presentation. But the one last thing I want to talk about today before I let you go is this processing report. Because SiteScan has integrated the PIX4D software development kit, they have allowed for an individual analysis of the camera parameters as well as the data parameters, as well as the flight plan, the georeferencing, all of the aspects of a successful flight have been included in the quality report and you notice it says PIX4D on here it's using the enterprise web version which is the software development kit but um, the information on how it was flown it's got some uh, some aspects of here's our piles red is high blue is low we have a little bit of shoulder ditch and a, and a, and a, a rail uh, bed right here um, but um, as, it, as it goes down, it'll tell you you're looking for certain aspects. You can tell I flew this in a panorama. I still get the surface view, but I flew it at two levels. So it has each one of those uh, levels of the panorama. Green is good on the overlapping images. And then as I'm coming in here, and now some of the, 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 the things that are real important are the Sony internal camera parameters. This was an RC-10 that we're using. And... Um, if, if we didn't exactly understand some of the statistical correlations and the analysis of variance that happens, clicking on this little blue information drives you online to the soft uh, to the um, uh, PIX4D Wikipedia of support. And there are images, there are documents, there are webcast videos, and it's very intuitive. As I'm looking through a polynomial coefficients, and as I'm looking through all the math that goes into generally reading these reports, that metadata is what separates out the professional services from the hobbyists, and, uh, and, and it will actually allow for design elements or suitability studies or materials uh, measurement on volumetrics that isn't just a, a, a weekend warrior as a hobbyist, but it's truly a geomatics report. And it says when in, white indicates a full correlation between the parameters, any change can be compensated. And if it's you wanted more information, each one of these hyperlinks is a driving uh, link to another Wikipedia page and it's just an amazing way you can get a, a bachelor's degree in photogrammetry as you're clicking on these links and as you're looking at what each one of these indications on the report means um, including here's the ground control points and there's a little bit of a uh, uh, an information on how to include the ground control points in the project um, they've got a, a very uh, stati statistically based method for determining the end game the precisions and the accuracies prior to putting the bird up in the air. So in a nutshell, this is just the introductory first pass at what you're getting when you look at 
site scan, what the capabilities of cloud processing, as well as cloud delivery of data on demand. And uh, appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for round two as we dive deeper into what kind of workflow is considered best practices or as some say best in class to deliver a superior outcome for your design projects. Thanks for watching and have a great day.